Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Recently, a popular blog on Instagram said that we're going to deal with Adiba Salami, a veteran and well-respected Yoruba actor and his family as his son as an accused. Adiba Salami is one of the founding fathers of the Nigerian movie industry and he has 18 kids, 9 daughters and 9 sons. Amongst them is the actor Topa Adiba Salami. Gist Lover's blog is one of the popular blogs in Nigeria and they are known for fighting for just cause. They draw the government, celebrities, and regular citizens who are in the wrong. And now they are on the case of Tokwe Adibia Salami. According to what they released, it seemed a woman had reached out to them, accusing the actor of trying to defraud her husband. And then her husband also reached out to Gist Lover's blog. The actor Tokwe Adibia Salami has come out now to explain his own part. Just love us share the chats they had with the man and wrote stop Adibayo, you always pledged and defaulted many times. Osmason giving you has ended many times. I refuse to refund this man's money. My joy is always full when people are made their ways and do the needful. Top Adiba Salam before I give you and your family members a global disgrace. Go and refund that money or else be ready to face the consequences. Meanwhile, Remember, all your family members will pay out of it. Make an do normal before I give all of an hour to water. But the actor has now come out to give his own account of exactly what happened. And according to him, it was not defrauding per se, but a business deal got messy. And in his words, it has come to my attention that an unprofound blog on Instagram posted some lies about me, Top Adiba, without verifying. Note that I, Top Adiba, did not defraud the guy in question, and neither have I ever defrauded anybody. The person accused me of fraud was a business partner. In 2019, they agreed to shoot a movie series together and split the budget 50-50. He sent his own share and I dropped mine as well. Immediately, we agreed on the script. I paid prominent artists, the writers and crews we wanted to use for the shooting to book dates with them. In 2020, due to COVID pandemic, we could not shoot the movie as planned. Meanwhile, a chunk of the money had been disbursed to script writers, some artists and crews, and I and I kept him informed. After a while, he borrowed some money from the project which he received. Later on, he came again to borrow from the money. I understood the situation which I sent to him. Along the line, we couldn't shoot based on our prior agreement. I had to strategize with the money available since he could not return the money he borrowed from the project. We reduced the number of series. I had to reach out to the artist and crew to refix a date for the shooting, but it was taking too much time because of the challenges. This guy decided that he was not interested in the movie anymore. I told him that I will have to source for somebody that is interested in the movie because I can't go back to the artist and crew for a fund. Although we finally got somebody that was interested in the movie, but she could not do it and she had to postpone it till next year. I tried to reach out and inform him but he stopped picking my calls. The mother reached out to me and I told her I would be coming to see her when I'm done at my location in Nevada. All of a sudden, she sent a text accusing me of blacklisting her number and also added that I ran back to Lagos. That was the day before yesterday. When I saw the text, I called back immediately, but to no avail, and I dropped a text that I will come see her. But till now, I'm still uncertain about them. The matter is now being processed. Thanks. Signed, Tokwe Adibayo Salami. So, Tokwa Adibaya Salami has come out to say that it was a business deal gone wrong and what had happened between them is what he explained according to him and he was not really trying to defraud the guy per se. As I mentioned, the version actor Adibaya Salami has 18 children. It's probably called Ogabilu. He's a proud father of 9 male and 9 female children. He has this 18 children from 2 women even though it does not support polygamy because they say that it is not easy to run one. Many of his children have followed his footsteps by joining the movie industry. The most known of them is the star actor of Femi Adibayo Salami, who is probably called Jalili or Jalili Onisu, Kemi Adibayo and Topa Adibayo. Both of his wives have nine children each. This is what has been reported on the news. While Adibayo is the first son of the veteran, was based in the USA until they moved back to Nigeria a while ago. He's the manager of Flexi Clean, a company that is into cleaning business and landscaping, which is other offices in Abuja and branch in Lagos, Ilori, and Ibado. He's married and blessed with kids. The second son is Femi Adibayo. 
with her equal Jalili or Jalini Unisu, as earlier mentioned, he was a property lawyer who practiced law for a while. He is also the supervisor of J15 School of Performing Arts, which is located in Mokola area of Ibadan, in Oyo State. Femi is also married with children. Femi is also one of the star actors in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. The third son is Sadiq Adebayo. Sadiq Adebayo sometimes appears in movies, but he's mostly behind the scenes. He's an area supervisor who puts entertainers through major things that they have to do on set. He's also the manager of Blackman Entertainment. He studied geology and mineral science at the university. He's happily married with kids. The fourth son is not this man, Top Adibayo, who is in this controversy. He's a movie director and a graduate of the University of Illinois in Kwara State. This was where he studied computer engineering. He had his NYC in Okwa Ibo. The fifth son is Widwan Adibayo. Widwan is a video editor and he practices and he practically handles all the video aspects of his family's production. The sixth son is Laiwala Adibaya. Laiwala Adibaya owns a boutique called Transporters. He studied history and international studies at the Lagos State University, Lasso. He is among the 2011 sets. He was also the Student Union Government President during his time. The seventh son is Ahmed Adibaya. Ahmed works with a private school in Djibouti, in Ogun State, as a school organizer. The eighth son is Akim Adibayo. Akim Adibayo is an entrepreneur. He owns his own business and he lives in Kwara in Lori. The ninth son is Kunle Adibayo. Kunle Adibayo is the last male in the family. He studied history and international studies at the University of Lori in Kwara State. And for his daughters, he has Tokwe Adibayo. The virgin himself shared a photo of himself. And for the daughters, he has Tobi Adibayo. The veteran shared a photo of himself and Toby in the year 2020 during a convocation. He witnessed Toby's convocation at a university in the United Kingdom for a master's degree. The second daughter is Titi Adibayo. The third daughter is Adibayo Ulushola Kikelomo. Most of his daughters are happily married and not much is known about them. The fourth daughter is Omolara Abuola. The fifth daughter is Alamidi Adibayo Mina. The sixth daughter is Bukola Sulias Ibrahim. The seventh is Ifeoluwa Arike. The eighth is Medinat Ola Jugu Adibayo. And the ninth, Olaide Adibayo. We are coming to the end of this episode where the actor Topa Adibayo has come out to give his own account of exactly what happened. And he's saying that he was not defrauding this guy per se, as this woman threatens to deal with him and his entire family. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.